Hey everyone, Woodsor here. So it's time for a new update on my Insane Dungeon Challenge. This is going to be Insane Dungeon 1-4. So this one was still doable, I think, to 100%. So I'm going to show you how I actually did it. Also, I noticed in the other dungeons, it's even hard to, to flame them with one hero. So I will show you the result of that after this dungeon. So here I dropped it on the top. I had to use my eyes to stun everything because otherwise my Anubis was gonna die. It was really close, I think. But I, this was the best way for me to do it. I had Anubis on life drain also and Goblet of Life because I really needed also, you can see I striked the right side because it had too many stun towers. So as you can see right now, all the heroes are down and now it's just up to Anubis clearing the area. But this is the thing I noticed in the other dungeons. He's doing not too bad damage, but he has to kill the walls also. And meanwhile, he's going to be stunned. So this is going to be a big issue. As you can see, he's maybe right now you can see because I'm showing my my troops but in a second you're gonna see how much damage Anubis is actually gonna take as you can see his health is dropping an insane amount it feels like each dungeon the health your heroes are gonna take is a lot higher somehow so as you can see Anubis is hardly staying alive here I got the 50% which was the goal so I'm really happy uh, with this so now the so now the plan is trying to tree flame it but I have a feeling the other dungeons are, are gonna be a bit too hard for one hero but I will do my best I will also show you the, the tries and the fails and I will also try and do it with as less heroes as possible since this was actually the challenge I wanted to do it with one hero, but if it's not possible with one hero, you have to try and do it with two heroes, I think. So I hope you don't mind that. As you can see, I'm trying to do my best here. Maybe I overrated this hero a little bit for this. I really think no single other hero can do this, because this one kills the troops and the heroes as fast as possible, so only the buildings are left. Here I use the choppers and as you can see I tried to keep them all alive because we really needed the damage for 100%. Look at Anubis going for the walls once again. So we are 96% which is really cool here. And we have about 12 seconds left. So here we are. We did insane dungeon 1, 4 with five seconds left, so I'm really happy with this. So now it's gonna be one five. So this is gonna be one five. I'm gonna show you how it actually went. So I was using the choppers once again with Anubis. I had to use Frenzy because he had to attack faster. Also Ice because he was dying too fast. So as you can see, these towers are doing way more damage. It's really insane how much they increase the damage he takes. So as you can see right here, Anubis is hardly getting into the walls. He's still doing a lot of damage to the, to the troops. As you can see, they are almost down already. But Anubis is taking a lot of damage, so I had to use my troops, trying to get everything alive. Still, I can put the shield on, but... As you can see, look at his health dropping. Now we procced, so he's not taking as much damage now. So we are at 5%. Most of the heroes are down, which is really impressive, I think. 7%. Anubis is about to die. And look at how much damage he's taking right now. Look at it. It's just simply impossible to do this on his own. So I had to add another hero. I really wish I hadn't didn't had to do this, but it was the only way to three flame this or two flame it. I guess you will see it in the next one. So 
I really feel bad about this, but this is not possible. So let's try again. As you can see, I'm using Minotaur. I can tell you I use like five other heroes like Little Nick, Michael, Gulam, you name it. I tried them all and it was all not possible to do it with two heroes. So I had to use Chief. Really wish I didn't have to, but it was the only way. So we are doing a lot of damage to the heroes. As you can see, most of them are dead. So now I'm going to use my Chief. So getting a heal up. He's not buffed or anything, so some of the heroes are still alive, which most of them just right, died right now. So now it's going to be up to Chief. So let's see if he can actually make it with him. We have only 2% still, and we are like 45 seconds in. As you can see, without, and without Chief, it's, you have like 0% chance making it. So Chief is trying his best, and... Anubis is tanking like a boss. The good thing with the chief is that he also stuns the towers. So right now we have 36%. The problem is when Anubis is gonna die, the towers are gonna switch aggression. As you can see right here, chief is taking ag aggression and he instantly died. So now it's gonna be up to Anubis. And as you can see, Anubis is not strong enough to actually tank them. So we have 61%, which is not bad, but as you can see, he's getting a really hard time doing this, because I had to use my angel also to keep both of them alive as long as possible. So maybe I really overrested this hero, but I think it's really fun to try to do this challenge. So we have 65%, which is not bad, 66 but still there are tons of buildings remaining. So I just speeded up this little part a little bit. As you can see, we are never gonna be able to 100% it because we only have 30 seconds left. Still, we did 77%. And maybe we can make 80, yeah, we made 82% with two flames. So now my question is, do you want me to continue this challenge, try and do it with as less as possible heroes as possible, or you just want me to quit this? So I really would like to know it. So I'm going to try and do one six now with as less possible heroes as possible. I hope you still like this series. As you can see, I really tried my best. Like the one five, I tried at least like 20 or 25 times using different troops, different heroes, but there was no chance. So I really hope you like this because I really like this challenge. So let. So now I'm gonna show you one try in one six to actually show you how I did. So as you can see, it has a lot of buildings, a lot of walls in the middle. So I dropped Anubis on the right side trying to kill as many, many heroes as possible, as soon as possible, because we really need to take those out. As you can see, Anubis is actually being able to tank this much better than 1-5. As you can see right here, we almost killed all heroes once again, but we are only at 1%, which is pretty sad. So now I'm dropping my troops on the top, because I really want to take out the stun tower since he's gonna slow my Anubis down way too much, so really trying to take him out. So we are at 4% and we are 45 seconds in, as you can see, that won't really cut it. So Anubis is doing his best, but as you can see, he's not able to attack the buildings too f fast enough. I also used Phoenix to attack buildings, but no chance, we are at 7% with 1 minute 45, so I did speed it up a little bit here. As you can see, he's try still trying his best, and the choppers are still alive. Still only 12%, so I think this is going to be the biggest issue in the dungeon series, doing 50% with all those walls. If Anubis had something against walls, like 
like doing something area damage or something he, there was a chance but this really feels pointless so I have a feeling I will have to use more than one hero but I will still try and do it with one as you can see right here we are 22 percent so let me know please if you want me to continue this series or not I really I hope you enjoyed this one I hope I will see you in the next one have a good day and bye